started the match really well for us. We did. Uh, we felt we were well in control of the game until uh, obviously we lost the first goal, which was disappointing. Still feel you in the game at one nothing. Uh, once we lose a second goal, it's very difficult. We've had a great cup run. Everyone's disappointed today. Uh, but all cup runs come to an end at some point. Uh, unfortunate for us, it's in the semi final. It was a great experience, you know, playing against a very good side. So it was very enjoyable. People showed up today. Where we great support from the fan and, you know, had friends and family here. So it was just, to be honest, it was just great. I know we got beat, but as, as the people say, we need to keep our head up and to be fair, we, we did enjoy the game. I did enjoy the game, you know. It has been great for us. It's been great for the fans. I've seen cut them under. That's what it's all about. I mean, like today and like yesterday, Ross County, that's, that's why we love the game and that's why the Cup's unpredictable. And obviously, I mean, Ross County, I give us give count ourselves in the Cup, hopefully. And it's been a good advert for Division 1 in Scotland with the two sides doing so well. Definitely, yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't think there's a, there's a massive gulf, to be honest, between the, you know, the top half of the first division team. I think they've kind of clipped themselves very well in the SPL. Uh, but like I say, we, from our point of view, we've, it was a great achievement for ourselves. We have a mix of part-time and two-time guys, so it shows you how far we've come and the gaffer and Paul Smith do, uh, deserve a lot of credit. And uh, like I say, hopefully we can just kick on and consolidate ourselves in the first division. And it is a tough old league. Anybody can beat anybody in the first division. And then... Uh, the worst for can't be all the best and the same likewise for Dundee United. You don't want to go away feeling it's a missed opportunity. Obviously Dundee United are a, a quality team. Uh, they're sitting uh, third in the SPL on merit. Uh, and obviously that's them now at the Scottish Cup final. So it's a good uh, positive season for them. Uh, obviously we're just disappointed that we've got it, we're the ones that go out. A disappointed Rovers dressing room and obviously a disappointed manager as well. But I tell you what John, you started wonderfully. First 20, 25 minutes, you really had them worried. Yeah, we thought we had proceeded on very well, you know, I thought we were on top and it passed the ball quite well and uh, the shape that we had was, was working, you know, we were getting uh, full backs on the ball and getting higher up the pitch and, and causing one or two problems. Uh, uh, we just didn't get the goal that we needed to get in that, in that period of time. Yeah. What did you say from the before the game, John? Did, did, did you take anything, for example, from, from Ross County's performance yesterday? What did, what did you and your boys make of that? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously... Uh, well, Delighted for Ross County first and foremost have been a fellow first division club and uh, you know we know they're managing to win a you know a lot of other guys there and, and, and very respect them very very well so we're delighted with that and obviously there's, there's things you're going to see mm. uh, in your pre match build up that uh, we give ourselves belief that we can we can do it, you know. But we, I'm sure, you know, Gary would have wanted a, a start with a pony who's going to frustrate Celtic and not allow them to get in the game. It was similar for us to make sure that and they didn't come out of the box here and get an early goal and that all can settle down. So we wanted that to happen. The best way to do that was to you know, take the game to, to Dundee United. And, and we were pleased with the start that we made. But uh, obviously, the first goal in any, any game is important. And it, it turned out to be it was, uh, massively important. Yeah, it, it turned the game in a lot of ways, didn't it? And in fact, that, that's, that's exactly what uh, Peter Houston said. That, you know, that, that first goal really changed the pattern of the game. Your best chances came. Alan Walker first half, certainly. Keeper does well here for United. But I suppose if you score here, it's a different story, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's good build-up play. It's a great reverse pass from Stephen Simmons. It puts him in, and uh, yeah, the keeper does really, really well. But it's not, it's not far away from just squeezing by him there, and uh, that could have made a massive difference because that would give us a massive lift to, uh, to get in or, or to get to get in front. And this might have brought us back in the game. It's a great header, uh, and the two chances that, that we've missed there are you know very similar to the ones that Dundee United scored. With, and that is the difference between winning the game and, and losing the game. Mm. So there's obviously disappointment today, there's no cup final to look forward to, but you, you can't afford to sit back and, and think about it because you've got an awful lot of league games left and important ones too. Very much so, yeah. You know, we've, we've got 34 points. Uh, we're hoping that we can maybe get another couple of wins from now at the end of the season to get, to get 40 points. I think that would certainly make us safe in the, in the first division. Uh, not easy to do that. We have to, we've got Adrian Wednesday night. It's a bit tough game, but uh, you know, we have to... Uh, not feel too down about ourselves. We need to get, you know, we've achieved a, a, an awful lot this season. Uh, so we've got to get the heads up and be ready for that game. Uh, Kings Wax, Kings Wax, half to play against. So we, m we must uh, secure first division football and look to build on the experiences that we've gained in the, in the Scottish Cup. And our players can all get better from playing against teams like uh, Dunny Wright and players that Dunny Wright have got. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to ask you, John. What do you take from this cup run? You've won a lot of friends. You've had some fantastic victories, obviously. What, what are the club as a whole and your players take out of it? Hopefully, a lot of confidence that we can maybe repeat this, you know. Uh, for some of the lads, who knows, you know, you, you've always on this as it might be your last chance, but why, why can't we do it next season? Why can't we you know, have another good cup run? We've done it this year, uh, I'm sure, because there's great desire to do it again. So, uh, we learn from it, you know, we've got a lot of young players out there in the park today as well who uh, can, can work, uh, gain from that experience and, and develop and, and become better players.
John, congratulations on getting to the semi-final. Commiserations and a good one for the rest of the season as well. Thank you. And we'll hear later on from uh, Ian McCall and Pat Nevin and their opinions on this uh, semi-final. But before that, let's just take you back 24 hours uh, to one of the great cup upsets out here between Ross County and Celtic. Uh, I think you'll be dying, uh, 